We went to the subantarctic in wintertime because we were told that there was a new population of southern right whales that had only been discovered about 10 years before and had probably never seen a human being before, certainly not underwater. It was a very speculative trip. I didn't know what we'd find, but got there, and lo and behold, these animals just couldn't have been more curious. I dove pretty much alone um, most of the time I was there. We had some bad weather, but the visibility was really good for subantarctic conditions. And here you see two of these right whales just coming right in. I should also mention that right whales have these things on their head called callosities. These are um, they're born with rough patches of skin in about the same place that humans have hair. So on the top of their head, over their eyes, like an eyebrow, and on their chin, and they get occupied by um, by barnacles and little crabs called cyamids, which give them shape and color. But um, these animals were just so curious. I mean, these were 45-foot, 70-ton whales that came right up to me, allowed me to make full-frame, you know, pictures of just the, the eye, this very soulful eye of this whale, you know, about the size of a softball, just looking at you and thinking. And, you know, you just can't help but wonder what they're making you out as. You just don't know. Um, you know, on the days when the visibility wasn't so good, I sort of dropped down and, and made silhouette pictures. This is a courtship of a male and female. I was careful not to get in between. That would have been very bad. Um, but, um, and then, you know, after doing this for a number of days and getting a few pictures, I had an idea in my mind. I wanted to make a photograph of a human with one of these whales. So I asked my assistant, Mauricio, to get in the water with me, never knowing if the whales would cooperate or not. But sure enough, uh, as if central casting, this, this beautiful female whale just came down and spent uh, about two hours with us on the bottom. This is Mauricio standing on the bottom at a depth of about 70 feet. And this, this thing that's the size of a city bus just swimming right up to you and hanging out with you. You know, you couldn't believe it. As I, as I made these pictures, I, I was swimming along the bottom. And you've got a dry suit on and a steel tank and all this weight, about 100 pounds of equipment. And after a while, you know, you've got to catch your breath. So I just sort of knelt down and tried to catch my breath. And I, I was sure this whale would just keep me, keep me in the dust, leave, leave me in its wake. But it actually turned and came back and uh, stopped. And, and waited for me. I was looking at that big softball eye. It was as if to say, you know, I'll wait for you. you got to catch your breath. I know you can't swim very well. Um, but, um, and then, you know, off we went. 